So if you're looking to learn how to do a voiceover here in DaVinci Resolve, record directly into Resolve, you come to the right place. So whether you're using a microphone like the Blue Yeti here, awesome microphone by the way, maybe you got a little cheapy USB microphone like this guy over here, the Fine Fine, maybe you even have uh, a lav mic here that you plug directly into your computer. We got a seven rhymes microphones here, or maybe it's even one that could go on top of your camera and you could just plug it right into your computer. Well, you wanna know how to record directly into DaVinci Resolve, right? So this video here is gonna be an excerpt from a longer video where we talked about audio description, voiceovers, and the ADR tool, but this is just gonna be voiceover. So if that's all you wanna know, you're in the right spot. So I'm assuming that you've already got a project set up. You have a track set up. You're ready to start recording into Resolve. You need to know how to patch in your microphone and how to get that audio into Resolve. So that's where we're gonna pick up this excerpt on voiceovers and how to get set up, how to listen to it, as well as some troubleshooting and tips that might help you along the way if you run into issues when you're trying to record your voiceover. So now you got your project set up here in Resolve and we're getting close to where we're gonna to wanna to start to learn how to actually do the voiceover part, right? But we've gotta get this baseline stuff set up, get our clip in there, get our video in there that we're gonna be doing the voiceover for and this is the basics of how you get it set up. Now there's a lot more to it, like with Resolve, I mean, everything goes miles deep, but this is the basics and it should get you started on getting your project into Resolve here. So now we need to talk a little bit about your microphone, getting set up for that. Now, like I said, you do wanna have it plugged in before you get into Resolve. So that way, once you get into Resolve, everything should be seen by the program. You shouldn't have to, you know, reconfigure stuff or anything like that. If you didn't plug it in yet, just close out Resolve, plug in your microphone, Make sure it's set up on your computer settings in your sound or preferences, whatever it might be, and then open up Resolve and everything will be ready to go for when we need to patch that microphone into Resolve so that we can do our voiceover work. Some quick tips on recording. So we want good audio that's gonna go along with our video clip here for our audio description, right? So if you can afford a good microphone, get a good one. This one that I'm using here, eh, it's about a little less than a hundred bucks. You can get good ones that are, uh, you know, a little cheaper. Um, but you know, in that just under hundred dollar range, you can find some pretty good microphones. You want to make sure you're in a good environment. You want to be somewhere where there's not a ton of extra noise going on, uh, someplace that's not too echoey because you want the audio to sound good. You can always do a little post-processing to make that audio sound better, but let's try and do the best we can to get that initial recording to be super high quality. In my case, I'm down in my studio here. I'm actually surrounded by soundproof blankets. So that really deadens the sound. And um, also the kind of microphone you're hearing me on now is a shotgun microphone on top of my camera. It's a Sennheiser mic. It does a really great job of coming right to me, picking me up, but not picking up anything else around the microphone. Now this little guy here, it does a pretty good job too of you know eliminating extra noise from around it. It's a cardioid mic, mic. it's just picking up in front of the microphone. So these are just things to think about that are gonna help you get a better recording. Some quick tips, you can always throw some blankets on the floor or go into a small closet, or I mean, you can even throw a blanket over your head in order to deaden the sound around you know, your microphone and yourself you know, to help your recording just sound the best you can. Because the better you can get it when you first record it, the easier it's gonna be to just apply a little bit of post-processing to sweeten it up a little bit and make it sound better, crisper, clearer, and not have to try and remove all kinds of extra noise and you know echoing and things like that. So you wanna take those steps first to try and get the best recording you can out of the gate. And that's really just gonna set you up for success on your project. So now that you got your microphone set up, your environment's good, you're ready to start recording, get back into Resolve here. Let's add a track so that we can record our voiceover onto its own track. So again, I have my project here and we wanna create a new audio track here that is specifically for our voiceover. So I'm gonna go ahead and come down here in the area below our audio track that we currently have. Now you can adjust these things if you just hover over different parts of the screen here. You know, you can make more room if you need it. But let's create a new track. I'm just gonna come down here. I'm gonna right click below my current audio track and say add a track. And we're gonna go ahead and add in a mono track. Now, most of the time you're gonna to wanna to use a mono track for your voiceover work because you wanna hear it you know, coming out of both your speakers. You know, Our project's a stereo project. You want it to come out both the speakers evenly. So we're gonna go with a mono track. You can do a stereo track, that's fine too. But in this case, we're gonna go with a mono track. So go ahead and click on mono and it's gonna add in a new track for us. Now I like to rename my tracks, keep everything organized. So I'm gonna double click where it says audio two here, highlight that and we're gonna change that to VO for voiceover. Hit enter and then it's now called voiceover. So before we jump over into Fairlight where we're gonna set up our voiceover and do our actual recording, one thing you wanna change is where those recordings will be saved. It's easier if you just do it now, get it out of the way so that way you don't start recording and then you can't find where your clips are. You're like, I don't know what to do. So let's get that set up real quick here. 
So in the edit page here, you want to come down to this little gear icon at the bottom, which is your project settings. You can also get to it by going to file and project settings. Once you get into project settings, you're going to see a window that looks like this. Now you want to come down on the left here to capture and playback. The first section here, you don't have to worry about. The second section down here is where we want to make some changes. So capture, you leave that as audio and video, that's fine. The video format, we're not recording video, so actually we don't have to worry about that. The codec, again, don't worry about that. And the next one right here, save clips too. Now this is gonna be where DaVinci Resolve saves your audio clips that we're gonna work on for our voiceover. So go ahead and click browse, and then you're gonna get another window here and just go find wherever you want these projects to be saved. For me, I like to save it in my project directory. I have an audio folder, and that's where I save all of my audio. So I've navigated to my audio folder right here. I'm gonna select that and go ahead and click OK. Now this is project specific, so you can change this for each project. There is a default setting that gets applied you know, by default when you start a new project. But if I know I'm doing voiceover work, I know I'm recording into Resolve, I wanna set this to go to my project so that way I don't have to hunt around for it and I know exactly where Resolve is gonna put all the files that I'm recording. So once you got that set up, you picked your path, go ahead and click save, and now you're good to go. You know exactly where those files are gonna be. So that is all we're gonna do here in the edit tab. Now we're gonna jump into Fairlight where we're gonna get set up to record our voiceover. So jump over into Fairlight by clicking on the little musical notes here at the bottom of the screen. That's gonna jump you into Fairlight. Now we're in Fairlight here and the first thing we need to do is patch our microphone into Resolve. We wanna make this microphone and input into Resolve so that way we can record directly into Resolve. The first thing we need to do is come on up to Fairlight at the top here. Then we wanna come down to Patch Input Output. Click on that and it's gonna open this window for you. So this is where we can patch different inputs to different things, tracks to different things. There's a lot you can do in here, but let's talk about the only thing that you need to worry about for your voiceover work. So up here on the left, we have Source. Now we want this to say Audio Inputs. And if you click the little drop down, you see you've got different options but we want to use audio input. So go ahead and click on that. And now right here is my microphone. Now this particular microphone right here, it comes up as primary play interface because it kind of works as an audio interface. But if you're using an audio interface, you should see the name of it here. Or if you're just using a microphone, you should see the name of the microphone there. So whatever shows up here is what you're going to be able to patch. And sometimes even with uh, my audio interface, it might just say, uh, you know, have numbers. So I've got four, you know, outputs from my audio interface and it'll just have numbers one through four. So you can just click on those numbers. You know, I know that, you know, my microphone input on that particular audio interface is number one. So you can use just that number one. Depends on what your setup looks like. It might look a little bit different than here, but uh, just give it a try and see how it works out. If you have questions or troubles, comment down below and I'll help you out the best I can. On the right here, we've got destination. So I'm going to go ahead and click that drop down, and we want to come down to track input. So go ahead, click on track input. And now you can see we've got our different tracks here. I've got my audio one left and right, which is that original track, right? Which should have your um, audio from your, your whatever it is that your video is, right? Whether it's your movie, your TV show, your film, your whatever it is, your project. So that's what those tracks are. Now we have VO. So that's the track that we created for our voiceover. Now there's only one because we created a mono track, not a stereo track. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the VO so that it's highlighted like you see here. And I wanna click on both of my audio interface or my microphone channels right here. Once you have them all selected, come on down to the bottom of the screen here and hit patch. So now you can see they kind of change colors a little bit, right? So it looks like the, the first one here patched to this one and it's a mono track, so you don't need both sides, which is fine. This should work out just fine for us. So once you got the patch made, you can go ahead and close this window by clicking on the little X and you should be good to go. The next step that we need to do is arm our track to record. And in order to do that, if you come down, we look at our voiceover track, you notice we've got three different uh, icons here. We have an R, which is, the first one is arm for record, which is the one that we want. So you wanna turn that on. And what that does is it says, okay, DaVinci Resolve, this is where I want my track to go. This is how I want it to record. Just get that track ready to go. And if you look on the screen here, you can actually see the meter moving already. So I know that DaVinci Resolve is picking up my microphone. Now you might notice that you're hearing an echo or you're hearing yourself while you're recording. So we can adjust that, and that's called monitoring your audio, right? We can adjust how it's monitored. So I actually have an extra set of headphones hooked up to my microphone or to my computer, working on a, a Mac Mini, an M1 Mac Mini here, so it doesn't really have external speakers. Well, it does, but they're not good. So I use headphones, but let's say I don't want to hear all that echoing, right? So we've got some options on how we can monitor our audio. So come on back up to the Fairlight menu here, and come on down to Input Monitor Style. 
Now you've got different options here on how you can monitor your input. So right now it's on auto, which means you're going to hear while you're recording. You're going to hear when you're not recording, which is why we're seeing the meters move now. But let's say I only want to do it on input. I can click that and we're still hearing anything that's coming in. So that's not the one that I want. I can come back to Fairlight input monitor style and I'm going to select record. So now this is only going to let me hear, you know, in my headphones in this case or on your speakers in your case, maybe it's only going to let you hear while you're actively recording. So the meters aren't moving now. And that's why, because we're only monitoring when we're actively recording. So that's okay. But if you want to just make sure that your microphone's working again, come back to Fairlight input monitor style, and you can change it to auto and you should be able to see those meters moving, which is telling you that your microphone's set up, you're good to record. So now you should be all set up and your track is ready to record audio from your microphone. Now, when we're in Fairlight here, it is helpful to be able to see your video while you're recording, right? So you notice in the top right-hand corner here, we do see our video. It is a little small. If you don't see it, you might want to click on your meters up here because that video is actually part of the meter strip here. So click on meters and that's going to open that up for you. Now you can click on this guy right here, this little floating window option, and it's going to open up the window. You can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do. You can put it on another monitor, I think. Uh, if that's helpful for you, you want to keep that, you know, somewhere where you can see it because it's just going to help, I think, make your audio description easier so you can describe what you're seeing. So for me, I'm just going to actually pop it back into uh, its own window there. So with everything else done here, it looks like we're ready to start recording. So in order to record, you want to take a look in this strip right up here above your timeline and we have the record button. So this is what you're going to press when you're ready to go. You're ready to start recording. So if I just bring my playhead back to the beginning here. I'm going to go ahead and hit record. And now we're recording here in Resolve. We can see my meters moving. We see that we've got audio from my top track here. And we've got audio coming in on our voiceover track. And then in order to stop your voiceover from recording, you can just go ahead and click the stop button right here. So I'm going to make my tracks a little bit bigger here just to see better by clicking on this guy right here. And I'm going to drag it a little bit bigger. And we can see we have our voiceover recorded right here. If we go back and play through it. I'm going to actually turn off my arm to record. And then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to play through it. And let's see if we can hear it. I'm going to throw on my headphones so I can hear here what's going on. Now let's play through and see if we hear it. In here in Resolve, we can see my meters moving. We see that we've got audio. From and there you go. You've made your first voiceover right here in DaVinci Resolve. It's not that hard to set up. It's pretty easy and pretty quick. Now, if you're running into problems and it's not recording, Maybe you don't see your meters moving at all. Here's a couple things that you can check. First, check your patching. Make sure it's good. Make sure your microphone is patched to the channel that you created for your voiceovers. And even before that, if you don't even see the microphone in the patch menu there, go back, close Resolve, make sure that your microphone is hooked up to your computer, it's set up good, and that it, it it's actually being shown in your computer settings so that way you know it's there. So when you open Resolve, it should be there and you shouldn't have any problems. If your patching looks good, everything else seems like it's good, but you're still not seeing your meters move and it's not recording when you try hitting the record button up here, make sure that you have armed your track to record. Make sure this R button right here is highlighted red. Otherwise, your track's not going to be ready to record, even if you push the button that's up here. So make sure you're armed to record. And finally, make sure that you're hitting the right record button up here in your toolbar so that Resolve starts actually recording. All right, guys, that wraps up this voiceover video, how to get things patched in, how to record directly into Resolve. If you have any troubles, leave a comment down below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out and offer any tips or advice or any struggles you might be having. I'm more than happy to help you out if I can. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. You learned a little something. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.